Welcome to Two Minute Tech Day, where we teach you how to use technology to enhance your classroom. Our goal is to teach you something you can use to reach your students in two minutes or less. Hopefully. Today we're going to learn how to make a video using the built-in camera on your MacBook to help you reach your students who are home because of the COVID-19 virus. Let's get started. First, let's create a folder where we are going to store our video files so that they stay organized as we build our video for our students. Make sure you're on your desktop or Finder as macOS puts it and right click on a mouse or two finger click on a trackpad. Name it video or whatever the heck you want to call it. If you can't seem to type the folder name, click on the text under the folder again and try typing it one more time. Now that you have your folder named, you can either create a new folder the same way inside this one or just start working on your video. I like to create subfolders, but that's just me. Double click on there, again two finger click or right click, click new folder and I'm going to title this one tutorial video. I like to organize mine by going up to here and clicking name so that they are in name order. Let's find QuickTime, our program we're going to use to record our video. Go down to the toolbar below and click on Launchpad. Okay? Find the Others app folder and click on it. Now click on QuickTime Player. You'll notice that it looks like nothing is happening, but it is. You can tell by the text at the top of your screen that you're in the QuickTime Player app. Now click on File and then New Movie Recording. A big video screen will pop up with your face on it. Don't panic. You normally don't look like this. You only look like this because you've been stuck at home for days. Pause, freshen up, and then come back. You're back? Good. You look much better. Now don't forget to take care of yourself in all of this mess. Next to the record button is an audio slider right here. Don't touch it. I mean, don't touch it at all. If you do, you're going to get some wicked feedback later. That's bad. You can grab the corners of your videos right here to make it bigger or smaller. You can also grab the top bar here so you can move it out of the way so you can see other parts of your screen, like maybe a script or something. Press record to record your video. I am now doing a read aloud of a book, or I'm doing a math problem on a whiteboard over here. When you're finished, press the stop button on your screen. Now we can go ahead and trim the beginning and end where you are making a whole bunch of weird movements to make it look good. Go up to edit, trim, and grab the beginning until you don't look so weird, and the end so you don't see you pressing stop on your video. Now click trim. Now let's save your video. Go up to file, click save. Let's name it tutorial video. Now we don't want to just save it on our desktop. We made a folder for that. So let's click on this little arrow down here. Click on your desktop if it's not on your desktop already. Go to the file folder that you named it. Click on it and then click save. After clicking the red X at the top left of your video, you can watch your video again by double clicking on the file but not on the play button. If you see the play button here, don't click it. You want to double click next to it and your video pops back up. That's it. You've now made a video for your students. That was less than two minutes, right? Well, close enough. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to check out our other videos where we teach you how to use tech tools to help you reach your students. I'll see you in the next Tech Day tutorial.